Good afternoon, everyone. This is Robin with Robin's Creations. And today I wanted to do a video tour since my craft room is pretty well picked up. And I've appreciated watching everyone else's videos for some inspiration. So I wanted to uh, share this in case someone else is looking for some ideas. So I just walked in the door and to my left here is a craft desk I got from Pier 1. And I like that on the side of it, it has little cubbies that I store my uh, six by six paper in. Okay, and then between them, I have some, oh gosh, I've had those for a long time and I don't remember what the name of them are, but they, are holding my 12 by 12 papers as well as uh, some eight and a half by 11 that I have colors of the same cardstock in 12 by 12. Okay, that's just some on top that I need to put in its correct file folder. Okay, on top of this desk, I have my brother scan and cut. I try to go slowly. I'm hand holding this, so I'm trying to keep it steady. So there's my brother's scan and cut. And then to the right of it, I have an old big shot set up for embossing, dry embossing. And then here's an old big shot that's set up for my die cutting. Okay, so those roll underneath there. They would roll all the way in, but in the very, very back, I have a letter organizer that I've stored extra. Uh, cardstock in okay and then I added a shelf to the top of this desk from Ikea we just made it and those silver legs I don't think you can purchase them that high anymore but um, they do have ones that I'll show you in a second okay and there's a tub that I just have additional cutting plates, the dynamic or 3D specialty plate for the Big Shot. I do like my lamps to make uh, this bright because this corner is very dark in my room. Okay, above that I have my TV and sound bar. I like to watch TV while I craft. Okay, I'm gonna slowly switch to the left. And that's very bright in the video. So this is an Ikea. It's meant to be a freestanding, I guess, closet system. I got it for a very good deal. One time it was their display unit. I did have to add some shelves, but um, that is what I do. A lot of my paper cutting station at. And there's my, do, my new uh, embossed die cut machine that will replace this black one on the corner. I just haven't set that up yet. I like the grid on the back where I store some scissors, adhesives, ruler, etc. Okay, and I have one shelf set up very slim. Let me go closer. Actually two. One that sticks out about the same and I keep my scoreboard there. Another shelf that has some ribbon. And then the next shelf has my Cricut that I don't use that often. And then to the right of it is a Sizzix uh, die cutting machine that I think I actually need to get rid of. It, I haven't used it in years. And then below that in file folder boxes, I store additional cardstock mostly retired. They're not all full, but they fit under there fine. Okay, and there's my step stool to help me reach my top shelves. So now let me go up. Okay, then there's the old little rotating uh, embellishment stands. Other containers, more ribbon. 
and the very top has additional adhesives and supplies that I don't need that often, so I put them way up top. Okay. All right, next, I'll swing left slowly again. I have two container store alpha drawer systems, and they hold my cameras and video cameras. Uh, I do like photography, so no better place to put them. I just put them there. Okay, this top drawer, let me show you it. It does have some ribbon. Let's see if I can open it. Yep. And the container store also sells these dividers. They just sit in there. But I've divided the ribbon to keep it, keep them from rolling all around the place. Okay, back up again. And so, there is a card rack that I was lucky to find at a flea market one year. Okay, and it's pretty stuffed. So I have additional bins with cards that I've made that don't fit in there yet. All right, I'm gonna spin more to the left. Okay, here is my computer station. And there's my kitty sleeping in his chair. So there's another one of those letter organizers that I keep additional card stock in. So my desk I actually got from Costco and it rises up. Um, it has an electric riser on it so I can raise it up to standing height that I like. Okay. I'm going to swing around some more. Okay, so this desk is new. I used to keep that Pier 1 desk in the center. But I wanted something with a little bigger tabletop. So this year, I added this to my craft room. So I like the Alex drawers. And I'll swing around to the front of it. There is a chair. I just keep it over here because I like to stand when I craft. It holds my jacket, basically, for when I'm a little chilled. So I'm going to slowly walk so as to hopefully not make you dizzy. Kitty is sleeping soundly. All right, I'll go over this in a second. I wanted to show you the front of my desk. So when I'm standing at my desk, this is my view. So I can watch TV. I can walk over to my die cutting, paper cutting, etc. So anyway, back to the desk. So this is two um, tabletops from Ikea. That I've set up here with legs under one. So the Alex drawers, they weren't tall enough I, since I like to stand when I craft. Okay, so what I did was I put one tabletop on top of these legs and then another. So what I like about it is it gives me extra organizing. It's dark under there, I know, but that holds a paper trimmer my stamp apparatus, a cup holder, and in that box I store my ink spots. Okay, I'll show you how I store those because some people wonder how to store them. So I had the old clam cases after I uh, unmounted my wood block stamps. And so I just store them upside down I put a square of the coordinating cardstock with the name so that the ink stays on top. And 12 fit in this size. I don't know, remember exactly what size that is. And I store those in alphabetical order. So those are pretty easy to reach. Put my memento right here. 
Okay, and this is my cup holder, an old one from uh, Creative Memories. It has a little trash can I can put my bits in. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the, a couple of this drawer. So this holds my Memento black ink and adhesives that I may need as well as my card sleeves. Um, and these uh, organizers, uh, you can buy at Ikea and they fit these drawers exactly. And so in the letter size on each side of my desk, I store the current cardstock that's eight, eight and a half by 11 size, just alphabetically. So that those are within reach when I'm creating. Okay, the top of my desk. This is just a large cutting mat to help protect it. I love my carousel with the scissors, uh, stamp cleaning sprays, etc. There's some additional adhesives and tools. And then I got this uh, DVD case. It uh, for one, it worked well to raise my lamp up so it wasn't sticking me right in the head. But there I keep current stamp sets that I'm working with uh, and or ones that just have sentiments that I that are go-to all the time. All right, and I love this mini, mini little uh, handbag. One of my customers got that for me and I love it to pick up little bits of paper. Okay. Then I have a just a makeup tray with my blending brushes, some pens and pencils, etc. There. So that's my craft desk. And now I'm going to spin around to what's behind me when I'm crafting. Okay, so I'm going to try to go slowly to not make you dizzy. I feel like I'm just barely inching, but it's probably it seems pretty fast. Okay, so right behind me is where I have my lockdown punches in the organizer from Stampin' Storage. Okay, and to the right of those, I have my ink pads in the combo marker uh, refill unit. I do keep those by color family. Okay, and then I did start doing my Stampin' Blends in the storage by Stampin' Up. But as I had more of these, sorry, clamshell cases, I just started storing them in those. They also fit well in paper pumpkin boxes if you don't happen to have any of these. I like it because it's clear and I can see through them. And I did kind of do those in, uh, I don't have them in rainbow order, but I keep my yellows, oranges, blues, etc. together. Okay. So that's what's behind me. So up above this, I have my old punches on, um, I don't think Ikea has those rails anymore, but it's just rails that were mounted onto this bead board and then framed and screwed into the wall. <laughs> so I have two of those together. On each side of that, I have this, I think it was a Michaels craft organizer. I have thought about taking those down as I don't really use them that much. And that's old ribbon that my daughter had. Okay, above that, just for decoration, I have some samplers that I made. Okay. All right, so this is what's behind me. What I set, set the lockdown punches in my stamps are these cubes that Michael's sold. I don't know if they still sell them. 
or they sell very few or it's changed names or something. So the top row ha holds all my 12 by 12 papers. Retired, DSP, solid color, etc. The bottom has card bases, the old wheels, and there's my trash can and recycle bin. So I do keep these two little file folder organizers. So that has all the basic whites, ivories, uh, card stock in. And in this box I use so that if I'm creating something, I can pull out the papers that I'm working on, stick them in there, and uh, either put it on the side of my desk or just leave it there and put my paper away as I go. I do keep my scraps in those hanging file folders with the DSP, sometimes in a uh, clear plastic envelope. Okay, so I do have the stamp and storage on the little kickstands. So I can put my uh, stamp cleaning scrubs under there to give me more tabletop. And then this is my clear blocks. So I'm gonna move this over to my desk to have more light. And I can show you how I store those for just everyday use. So this is a just a school supply box. And I found they hold these perfectly. So it holds two of these. What's this one? E blocks. So two of those right on top of each other. This little skinny one. Uh, D blocks, and I just happen to have three. So if you have three, it does close still three high. Three D blocks. You do have to turn those a certain direction for it to work. Okay, and I keep two of these C blocks. And then I just have one of these in here. That is the H block. Okay, and then two of the B's fit there. And I just have one of the little A's. Okay, so those fit perfectly. I just happen to work with what works. <laughs> So that's just for everyday use, how I store them. And there's my chamois that I keep on my desk. Okay, I'm gonna put this back on my desk, but I'll give you guys the view this way so I'm not spinning you too much. Okay, so I'm gonna spin around to the right of my desk, slowly, trying to go slowly. I am hand-holding my camera. Okay, so this is a new uh, bookshelf I got at Ikea that we put up this weekend and I found it helped clear off my desk and this area quite a bit and it got some things out of my closet. So the bottom holds my Bibles and Bible studies. The next shelf holds paper pumpkin and let's see paper pumpkin boxes and then in this big tub from Ikea, I store, I'm gonna, if, let me bend down here. If I just have a few supplies left, well, that's labels, extra labels. So any kits that I have just a few extra supplies on, I store in these uh, three ring binder zipper cases. And I did have them in binders, but I felt that took up a lot of room. So I found it easier to just get this tub and many more set in there. Okay, and then there is just a tub whoop, with a check. <laughs> and dimensionals, cardstock, pre-cut card bases, etc. That's an old binder with the little traceable circles and stuff don't really use that anymore okay I'm gonna back up so I can give you a wider view again so this shelf holds a ribbon and I have it stored kind of by colors I have yellows pinks neutrals reds greens blues all in these 
uh, I think they're shoe boxes from the container store. So they're easy to reach. And there's old marker case that has either retired colors or duplicates that I have. Okay, the shelf above it stores uh, embellishments, current embossing folders in the left, and then my paper pumpkin stamp set. So many people wonder how to store those. And this is what I do. So I put them in, if they're small enough, they go in the small ones and I store them by year. <coughs> Excuse me, I had a tickle in my throat. Okay, the large ones, the ones that don't fit in the small are the sort in the large ones. And all my Paper Pumpkin subscribers receive one of these as a perk from me. I did unmount 99% of my wood stamps and created the same sort of system. I have a video that I can link to to show how I converted those. That's not all of them. The other ones are in my closet. Okay, up above is a kit that I'm working on, the little tools. And then to the left of that, I have uh, just current and or stamp sets that I'm working on. A lot of these are about to retire. I put them over here. Okay, I'll back up again. The next shelf has room to grow on the left. Even that box is empty, but I like how it fits. And then there's some kits I'm working on and nor need to finish. And the top shelf is pretty much my sister's stuff. I've kept some of her adhesives and blocks up there so that when she comes and wants to craft with me, they're right there. And then some little Bob peppermints. Okay, so that's that shelf unit. To the left of it, I have a nine cube calyx system not really how I like it right now but it's a work in progress so on the bottom shelf let me the left one is empty the next one and the one above it have current DSP 12 by 12 and then I have retired embossing folders so I have them in a big long clear tub as to use all the space all the way to the back the next one up has some six by six paper and just some random ribbon that i need to uh, put away some more 12 by 12 paper that i showed and over there are current die sets a lot of the just labels and or ones i'm working on in a project i pull that up to my desk and just work with that Okay, above that on the left is my, oh, what is that, sticker maker, and random ribbon again, and in the middle top shelf, I have an embellishment caddy, this is ribbon that has paper pumpkin ribbon, I believe, that I store my embellishments in, and these uh, I did like that Ikea started selling these glass shells that you can add to your Calyx units. There is an additional shelf here. That's why it's kind of sticking out. I'm not sure if I want to put it in or not. Okay, below that are current stamp sets and or background stamps. And again, I store these. Excuse my hand. In these long clear boxes. I think they're fridge bins. As to use all the space all the way to the back. This shelf split in half has old in color or retired markers in it, as well as uh, dies that have a label of some sort. So I don't always use current stuff for labels, but so I wanted to have those easy to find. And above that, it's kind of a hodgepodge of stuff. I guess I need to organize that better. But if I stamp or die cut something that I didn't ended up not using, I just stick it in here. 
so that when I'm creating, if I remember I put something in there, I can dig through that to use. Okay, let me back up to give you the top view. On top of the Calyx unit on the far left is one of those long fridge bins that store all my dies. And they're on magnet sheets, so they are, that whole box is very heavy. So I felt it needed to go on the top versus a thinner shelf to keep it from bending. There's some random bulk ribbon next to it, my label maker. And then other current dies that, that are stamp set specific. Okay, a little toolbox there. And then my Stamparatus carry case, which I believe is on the discontinued list for a great price. I keep that there. That, uh, did I say it right? It's a Stamparatus carry, carry case. Okay, I put another one of those shelves like that was on my Pier 1 desk there and then I have either retired in colors ink pads or the current ink pads that from the linen style and I will look up exactly what those are and see if they're still available and put that in the description box below by the way if you're new to my channel um, I would really appreciate if you would subscribe and if you like this video hit, hit the thumbs up button okay I'm gonna scooch around to show one more thing I feel like I am crawling but I know videos it seems make you dizzy so there is a unit I also got at a flea market it's very thin. It was just meant, I messed up, I suppose, for DVD cases. And so I've stored stamp sets there. I have quite a collection. Even though I'm a demonstrator, I'm also a hobbyist. And I have collected quite a few that I can't part with yet. Okay. So I'm going to spin, go to my door and spin back around one more time. Try to go slowly. It's just an old computer there that I don't want to get rid of yet because I need to make sure I have all the things off the hard drives. Okay, so that shows behind my desk. My center island desk. Oh, and I don't think I showed this. So that wider, deeper uh, tabletop was longer than the Alex drawers. So Ikea sells these adjustable table legs to give that back part more support so it doesn't tip over. So I just needed two of those, one on each end. And it has worked so far. Oh, and there's my laminator under there. I can pull up front when I need it. Back to the corner with my computer. The IKEA system. My television. My uh, Pier 1 desk. And the closet that I will keep hidden because it is not organized. Okay, so that is my craft room tour. Thank you for joining me. And again, if you have any questions, uh, leave me a comment. And also, again, if you're new to my channel, I truly would appreciate subscribers. I'm new to YouTubing. And I only add a few every once in a while. I hope to add more as I create with this year. So, Enjoy. Have a great day. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.